the deeper you get into your bubble apps development, the busier your editor is going to be. You may introduce more pages to your application. Each of those pages may have more and more visual elements designed onto the canvas. You may have many more workflow events and actions. As your app grows, you're going to have more logic to maintain and troubleshoot, more dynamic expressions, more conditions. You may even add to your database structure, right? Introduce new data types, new fields, new relationships between things, new option sets. If you don't have a system created for yourself, your editor is going to very quickly get messy, get clunky, get cumbersome to work with. Things may even slow down for you if you're not keeping a tidy editor space. Now, there's a lot of different areas for you to address here. First is in the way that you name everything. Bubble has lots of spots where you can custom label uh, how things are, are, are called in, in the editor just for your own internal purposes. So for example, your database structure. You can call your data types whatever you want. You can name your fields. You can name your option sets. Also in your design canvas, every single visual element, you can give it a name of your choosing. If you're creating copies of an input, for example, and you haven't taken the time to name them, that immediately creates room for error. You could end up mapping the wrong inputs to your database fields, saving the wrong data or overriding data, just in general, having a ripple effect of issues and create a convention that is going to be consistent throughout the application. That way, no matter where you are in your app, if you're looking for something, you know what convention to follow so that it's easier for you to find. Next is your workflow organization. You can create workflow folders to group your workflow events uh, to make it easier to filter down all of the events into you know, events that may uh, be related to each other or just in general, whatever system is going to work for you. I personally like to create workflow folders that are related to specific sequences of actions or specific features. Within workflows, you can also color code. Again, this is an area where color code your workflow events in a way that's going to make sense for you, that's consistent so that you know exactly what those colors represent. Typically, I see green uh, representing you know, a, a, either an important workflow or a confirmation of something, something's being submitted, something's being created. Whereas red will typically signify, you know, maybe something important is being deleted or it's an error handling workflow or it's something that you may no longer want to use and you're flagging it for yourself so that you don't uh, use that. Maybe eventually it'll get deleted, for example. Styles is another really important area that will help you stay organized and consistent. And this is actually something that will also affect your user's experience. You want to take advantage of styles as much as possible because this is supposed to help you maintain a consistent appearance throughout the entire app. Not only that, it's going to save you a lot of time in development, right? You don't have to set up the same appearance properties over and over again, and it's actually going to make your app more performant. It's actually a lot easier for Bubble to render your application from styles for you know, the majority of your visual elements compared to rendering from uh, individual properties for every single thing. And finally, get in the habit of doing regular housekeeping within your editor. Get rid of things that you're not using anymore. It's really easy to add something to your app uh, that you wanted to try out. And then, you know, if it didn't work out, you just kind of leave it hanging around there. Get rid of it. If you're not using it, remove it. Don't let these things pile up. OK, remove pages you're not using, remove workflow events or actions or uh, visual elements that you're not using uninstall plugins you're not using, right? Address your issue checker uh, issues that are being surfaced. Don't let those add up. By addressing these things as you go, you keep your app incredibly lean and performing as optimally as possible. And it can also help you test your application in a more accurate environment. So if you're finding that your editor is hard to navigate, it feels clunky and cumbersome, it's not easy to move through it, everything is just taking you a long time, it might be because you have no system. So take a step back and see if you can first clean things up and then get in the habit of creating organizational systems for yourself.